you're already at a deficit and you haven't figured that shit out, there's no way you should, you know, metaphorically have a whistle in your hand and be trying to tell people how they should be doing it. So no, no. Yeah. That's not, I'm not even a whistle guy. I'm not either. That's why no. God blessed me with these sweet lungs for screaming. Did uh, but, do, do you ever do a judge people off of if they're, if they're a whistle guy? Like, if you, like for, for, for example, first day, first day you go out in the conditioning field and actually not in the conditioning field. Let's just say weight room. Cause conditioning field, I can almost see a, I can almost see a whistle. I can almost yeah. see Let's say you're in the weight room and there and guy comes in new coach and he has a whistle and he uses it. If he not uses annoying, it, not an annoying yeah. way, but he doesn't just wear it. It's not some accessory. It's not like an actual like stopwatch that has five different <laughs> settings and a wristwatch. So you can, you can have six groups. We're, playing at the same we're time not stack. posting this episode, right? Just this part, <laughs> just this part. We're going to do as a teaser. This will be the fucking teaser. So I want to know this coach comes in oh, sweet Lord. with, with his whistle. Where do you go? Where's your mind go? Where does it go first? I, I mean, I, I know where it goes. It goes to coach Hines on, on the key and key and, or uh, whatever that was mad TV, that skit. Okay go watch coach Hines. That, that's okay. where my mind goes because um, he's the whistle coach, but it, uh, I gotta, I gotta put it into terms. because It puts me in this. Mr. Rogers isn't the right term, but that's what I was about to say. Like we got a Mr. Rogers strength coach. It, it's, it's a character. It's a caricature strength coach kind of, cause you have these different archetypes of strength coaches and it's like the one it, – it's, it's usually a good assumption. It's like this guy This guy read a book that said you're supposed to show up with a whistle on the first day, and, like, that's what he did. Or, like, it, it, it tends to be that trend of, like, whistle guys come from a lineage of whistle guys. And you can train under a lineage of whistle guys. So this yeah. is where my mind is really at. You can yeah. train yeah. under the lineage of whistle guys. But at some point, you can be the guy that's like, yeah, I'm not a whistle guy at heart. I'm not. I'm not using the whistle. I'm right. gonna do it my way. I, I I appreciate what I got from the whistle guys, but I myself am not a whistle guy, and I'm not about to carry the whistle because my predecessors did before me. But all the other whistle guys just continue to carry the whistle, and if they used it on the first day, you can bet that the guy before them was a whistle guy, and and that's how he controlled the room and the atmosphere too. But uh, it, it sets up it sets up the room and the atmosphere, in my opinion for like Kenny Powers starting PE class. It mm -hmm. just does. Yeah. It just does because you guys are like, no one likes the whistle, especially in a small weight room. It's ear piercing. Yeah. It gets people's attention. They're going to listen to you, but like you hate it. So you automatically partially like, I hate this guy. Mm -hmm. I might be over analyzing this a touch, but um, yeah, about the only time I, only time I really know using a whistle is in, if we're outside in a field where it's like, you need a whistle. Or, yeah. and that's like multiple fields. Like you got, yeah, you got hundreds like, of meters of space hundred, going on. Yeah. Like you and, need control. I, yeah. and I'm talking like football circuits or something like that, yeah. where it's like, you, you literally, you could yell as much as you want, but it'll be too confusing because everyone's yelling. Right. There is a whistle scenario where it's a tool, but even then I only use it and was like, okay, the whistle helps organize this better. I can do with my own voice. Um, but yeah, the, the, the whistle guy, it, the, you know, it just conjures up what I just said. And then the guy showing up with a cutoff sweatshirt tucked into his gym shorts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Too. I think like when you were going through it, like it's interesting. You, you talked about like the lineage aspect, like you really <laughs> dove hard into that. Cause I was talking about the guy. Yeah. I know. Gal. It's you know, you know like it's, whose person is a whistle. I actually think I actually don't look at the person very much. I look at the opposite direction of future in which okay. like you kind of touched on it. Like, okay, no one, in that room is really going to respect you. They're going to have to listen to you because it's a shrill sound. Yes. Like you have no earned respect on any level because if you are, if you are a strength coach, you are respected in that room. Some would say feared, but I, I tend to do the respected route myself, the Ted Lasso route. Yep. If I say something and they can hear it, it doesn't have to be a yell. The adjustments made it's done. It's yeah. over. Yeah. Like I, don't, I don't need a whistle to get someone's attention or a ton of people's attention. That whistle can't say, you know, Harrison. It's it can't not personal. Say, Jackson. It's, that's it. it can't, no, you, you can't, that's you can't it. say that. So that everyone like stops like, like nope. my dog, like my dog nope. looks at me just like, what? Yep. No, you nailed it. The, the, the whistle is an impersonal training tool. 
in a in in a in a setting where it should be extremely personal um and individualized but that's a really good point that's a really good point that's why i think it's a bad it's a bad teaching tool i can understand it's a it could be a crutch too in a lot of situations uh, one one sidebar on the whistle guy mm. you are the whistle guy this is this is this is my comparison coming up from a redneck logging town family. Okay. My dad used to use this phrase, never, never trust a man with clip on suspenders. Oh, I've heard that. Yeah. 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 I don't, I don't know. That's a common term that other people stand. The clip on tie one was big on the East coast. Okay. So clip on tie. It's the same, it's the same reference point coming from a logging background, right? Rednecks. uh, It was clip on suspenders because obviously your pants have the buttons and you're supposed to have, you know, man suspenders strength coach world it's do you have a fox 40 whistle or do you have a whistle with one of those weird corky balls inside of it (laughs) this is this is what you do he's like you you can't pop so you you have a clip on tie you can rip it off a dude and embarrass him you have clip on suspenders you can pop those suckers off that guy and his pants fall down you have a you have a whistle with a cork ball in it you freaking spit in his whistle or dunking in the water thing and now all of a sudden his whistle doesn't work and you do it on like day one to them. It's like, yeah, you're, it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, you're welcome to the big time. You better have a Fox 40 whistle if you're actually using a whistle. I mean, if you're going to repeatedly use it, I mean, it seems like <laughs> it would be a lot more energy efficient. Whistle. Yeah. So if you do have a whistle, you better have the right whistle, but that's a good, that's a good litmus test kind of to just see someone from a distance, you know, like what's your experience level. I'm, and I'm sure there's some badass guy that like proves the rule that like, has a fucking cork whistle somewhere Mm -hmm. but if you don't if you don't have a fox 40 whistle you're not really serious it's more just like decor (laughs) oh no i would definitely i would if it's a good point because that's really clicky you know that's that's really like oh man like do you pull conventional or sumo like yeah boo yes you know like it's almost as though if i see someone with a cork whistle Man, I can almost guarantee you they love a good strict linear progression. There's no deviance. There's a strict linear progression all the way up. If I see someone with a Fox 40, I bet they know at least two or three different training systems. Yes. I guarantee it. Yes. Like, I'm not saying that in a negative way. I'm just saying like people that well, cork whistle probably older and just mm-hmm. very in that. Older that, or naive. Oh, one yeah. Of the, one, of the, yeah. one of the two. One yeah. of the two. Cause I had a cork whistle at one time and then coach grabbed it off my neck and dunked it in water and the thing didn't work. And he's like, get a man's whistle. I'm like, okay. I'll get a better whistle. That's how it happens. I was just going to ask you that. Like if you were dunked by dunk one of those in water, just to really that, piss somebody off. Oh yeah. That's, that's one of the, that's one of those things that, that, that was a turning point in my career. You know, I was, I was a better strength coach when I got a real whistle. A Fox 40? A Fox 40. They don't make a Fox 41 yet? I, I don't know. I've never used, I have never been a whistle ever. I don't think anyone was outside. Yeah. To my knowledge. Our, yeah. I mean, but I had it. I rarely use it other than when, I, I don't know. There's rare occasions when I would use it. And it was more like uh, we did, when we do football stuff, it was yeah. on, it was on like two whistles, one whistle, one long whistle. It was, they already had like preconceived, this is what this whistle means. This is what that whistle means. You got to know their, their whistle right, right. code, their Morris code of whistling. Mm-hmm. So I used it. I used it for that, but that was about it. Okay. That was about it. Cause yeah, I'm not a whistle guy. I don't like it. I didn't even like it with a huge group of soldiers, you know, where it's like, Oh, this would be really good. And it is an impersonal setting. Cause you're not, yeah. you're not calling out, you know, Heathcliff over there for right. doing whatever. It's like, I don't care about what you're doing. You're not doing what I want you to do, but I don't care. Yeah. Not enough to call you out by name. Unless you do it repeatedly, but. No. <laughs>